Okay guys, so here's a quick and dirty tutorial on how to download and use ChemSketch. So what you want to do is navigate to acdlabs.com. From there, click on Products. Then click on Chemical Drawing and Nomenclature. Over here to the left, click on Structure Drawing. And finally, over here on the right, click on ChemSketch Freeware. Your download link will be at the bottom of the window. And the first time that you come here, it's going to ask you to either log in or register. So you're going to want to create an account. Go ahead and click on create an account and fill in the required fields here, which is basically your name and an email address. They will then send you an email confirmation. You click on the link in the email and they will activate your account. You can then come back to the web page and go ahead and download ACD Labs ChemSketch. Once you download it, you can go ahead and install it as you would any other software package and go ahead and launch the program. So here we see what ACD Labs looks like once you launch the program. The first thing that you want to do is set up some of the drawing preferences. So first click on tools and go to structure properties. And What you want to do here is under show carbon make sure that all and terminal are unselected. Okay, so unchecked. Go ahead and click on Set Default, and then click on Exit. The next thing you want to do is click on Options, Preferences, and under the Structure tab, make sure that Fixed Bond Angle and Bond Length are selected, and go ahead and click on OK. And that will just help ACD uh, Labs ChemSketch create nicer looking drawings as you go along by default, and you'll have to do less editing and cleaning up at the end. So generally, we see here the drawing window, which if I click once, I put in a methane group. Okay. And that's because over here along the left, I have the carbon atom selected, along with a single bond drawing tool up here. If I continue to click, well, ChemSketch will just continue to add carbons as I go along. Okay. And you can see that if I have my mouse pointer over a carbon, it will explicitly tell me what is there, so a methyl group, okay. another methyl group, etc. I can create side chains just by clicking on the appropriate carbon and continuing to grow the chain outward. I can add other atoms in functional groups by clicking on the atom that I want, so let's say a nitrogen, and if I click, hold, and drag, you'll see that I create a bond of a defined length and it snaps to different uh, defined angles. So let's go ahead and put it there to match the other angles and let go. And you'll see that we put an NH2 group in there. So it automatically adds the number of hydrogens to complete whatever atoms valence that you have selected. Now over here on the right we see some structural units. So a benzene ring, cyclohexane ring, cyclopentane, etc. Let's go ahead and add a benzene ring. So if I click on one of the atoms it will add a benzene ring in the um, appropriate position. Now notice that when I move it around, the shadowed benzene ring kind of shows me where that benzene ring would be attached. Okay, so I could attach it directly to the existing benzene ring. There's a side chain off of the benzene ring, etc. Again, if I want to add other atoms, so let's say I want to add an oxygen. In, in particular, let's say I want to change this methyl group, the CH3 group, to an OH group. Well, as long as the oxygen atom is selected, when I click once, it will change to an OH group. If I want to put an OH group off of a particular atom, I would click and hold, drag it out to the defined bond length and angle, and let go, and then we see we put an OH group off of that atom. <clears throat> now, some useful tools that are built in, let's go ahead and reselect the carbon are that, let's say you're in a hurry and you're drawing a structure really, really quickly. Okay? And it doesn't look exactly its best. And you want to be able to clean this structure up so that all the bond angles are nice and defined as in the drawing over here on the right. Well, what you can do is once you draw it, to clean it up, come up here and click on this intertwined red and white arrow um, icon up here, clean structure, and voila, there it is nice defined bond angles that are all normal and a really nice looking structure. Let's say you make a mistake and you want to erase some um, atoms, bonds, elements, what have you. 
come up here and click on the delete tool looks like an eraser and we can just start deleting the chain either from one end or from the middle and notice how when we delete something in the middle the fragments on either side are retained as separate drawings what I would recommend you guys do is just go ahead and play around with it for a little bit. It's fairly easy to use and straightforward. You can make really nice looking chemical structures. Once you have a particular structure drawn, what you want to do is select the lasso tool and then come over, drag a box around it and select it, and then do Control C. Okay? Or you can do Edit, Copy. Then you can go into whatever word processor you're using and paste it in place and resize it, make it look just how you want. Okay, So that's it. Not too terribly difficult to use. Um, like I said, just go ahead and play around with it. And if you have any questions, be sure to come by and see me or drop me an email.